We have wrestling plus basketball. Rest ball. You wrestle and you score points in the hoop, right? So let us see how they go about this. Now, I don't know who came up with this, but um, by the time I finish this video, they should have some of my questions for them answered. Look at this. Wow. So obviously it's matted, right? You definitely don't want to be slamming people, throwing people on a regular basketball court. I mean, it would be fun to watch, but it's not safe at all. So looks like right now just two people in the center. Oh, his foot stepped out though. His foot stepped out. I think they wrestled to see who gets the ball first. Oh, that's pretty cool. So what we just saw, instead of the tip ball as they do in basketball, right? The jump ball, as they say, you wrestle to see who gets the ball first. Wow. Let's make it a goal. Next time they have an event like this, let's make the audience completely filled, man. Come on, man. Okay. So red has possession of the ball. Okay. They're not required to dribble. Okay. That's another difference between this and basketball. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay. Little layup didn't score. All right, so it's almost a little bit like rugby rules a little bit, right? You just have to carry the ball. You have to pass it, but you don't have to dribble. Okay, it makes sense. I mean, dribbling would be a little hard on mats, right? I don't know about you guys if you've tried dribbling on wrestling mats before, but I assume the ball doesn't have the same amount of bounce, right? So, okay, that makes sense. So there's elements of rugby in this. Oh, nope. But if you notice, the ball did bounce, right? Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, that was a great pass behind his head. Wow. So, so far, no one scored points yet. But here's some replays, right? Okay. It looks like you can interfere with their shots, right? That's something. Oh, never mind. You can't. Oh, that's how you get a free throw. Okay, nice. Okay, so if your shot gets interfered with, you get... It looks like a free throw. Again, I could be misinterpreting the rules. But in basketball, right, if, if like, he already is launching the shot and like you mess with his hands or you grab him or something that's not allowed right so it looks like they might be sticking to that again we'll figure out the rules as we keep commentating but so far blue team has one point i don't know if they have something called three points in this we'll see all right oh interception turnover they would say probably right in oh nice there we go got wrestled down oh no he lost possession of the ball oh never mind Oh, nope. Nope, yeah. You can tell all these guys are wrestlers, right? They haven't hired any basketball people. Obviously, it's easier to teach um, wrestlers to play basketball than it's to teach basketball players to wrestle, I think. What do you guys think? Would it benefit you to kind of get basketball players to learn to wrestle for this, or would you rather get wrestlers to learn to play basketball? Or maybe you would have to get rugby players, right? You want to get rugby players to to learn how to um play basketball because again rugby players sort of know how to wrestle they know how to run the ball right um two turnovers in a row right there oh bad passing oh he tried to go through the legs he tried to pass through the legs didn't work so blue team has possession blue team also in the lead right now we'll get a little see he tried to pass between the legs but so there's no rule against like if it gets kicked accidentally or purposefully well we'll see we'll see that was an accidental kick so here we go all right, he's going to pass it right there to the center. Huh. Oh, yeah, blue team's on that side. That's right. They're scoring on that side. Oh, that was a great pass. Uh-oh. He's pro Oh, I think he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, I think, yep. Possession goes back to red team. Yep, stepped out of bounds. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he slipped somehow. I don't know how that happened. So, he got pinned. What does that mean? That means possession goes back to blue? Oh, never mind, never mind. Jump ball. Jump ball? Oh, oh, it's like the wrestling equivalent of jump ball. Okay, they wrestle for it. That's pretty funny. He drops the ball instead of throw it up. So who gets the who gets the possession there? Oh, now it's jump ball. Okay, alright. <laughs> Dude, that, that guy that looks like Russell Crowe, I'm rooting for him. That guy right there, 88. That guy, we'll just call him Gladiator. Gladiator. Oh, almost scored a three-point there. All right. Red has possession. Let's see if they can make it. Oh, almost tried like an alley-oop there. Okay, blue has possession. 
Wow. Oh, the blue tried to do an alley you back. I like that they're trying basketball moves, right? This is really cool, guys. Make sure to go follow International Rest Ball. I will link them in the description, in the cards, and cards, and probably in the pinned comments, guys. I want to make sure they know. When you go to their channel, tell them. If I commentary breakdown sent you, ma'am. I think all of us want to see some suplex, right? So, hmm. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, we shot. We shot. Huh. Rush just got pretty good basketball, right? They could have... Oh, 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 he got... Look at that. So, a lot of the tackling, the throwing's more like rugby, right? Um, We haven't seen any suplex or anything. Oh, nice. Okay. So, the possession continues, right? It's not like football where, where if the ball's down, you have to reset and do more plays, right? So, this makes it more... Um, interesting for the casual, I guess. You know, people who love football, love football to look at the tactics and the strategy of every play, right? But, um, I think there was an out of bounds right there. So, this is really, really interesting. Guys, for those of you watching, what potential rule changes would you, would you make? Would you force them to have to bounce the ball once in a while? What do you guys think? Oh, that's good. All right, not bad. So, he scored another point. All right, that was good. Look at that. He threw it like a he threw it like a rugby ball, right? Look at that. <laughs> I would I would shoot the shot like that. You know, I don't know anything about basketball, as in like I can't play well. But I'm gonna get Hank, my roommate, who plays basketball really well, and Carter's mommy, who you guys have met in a cameo. Carter's mommy um, was a very skilled college basketball player, so I want to get her in this. So we will get. Expert commentators when it comes to the basketball part soon. So, all right. Uh, where's Mr. Gladiator? Gladiator um, 88. Oh, there he is. Gladiator right there. That guy's built like a tank. He's trying for a three-point, man. He should have uh, ran towards the rim a little more. Uh, uh, Gladiator tried. I guess if you score outside that purple line, would it be counted as two points? Or would it be... Because, you know, any... Any basket within the orange line is just one point, right? So we'll see. We'll hope someone scores what we would consider a three point to see how much it's actually counted. All right, here we go. All right, blue has had majority possession this, this um, I was going to say round. It's not a round. This quarter, right? Oh, oh, turnover. Nope, not quite. There you go. Oh, almost got it. Oh. Man, guys, watch this for the fact that it's a new sport, right? Not, <laughs> Don't judge them on their basketball ability. This is a new sport. <laughs> so, <laughs> I could actually get Brantley to commentate this with me. Because, again, um, Brantley, you've seen him on my channel. Brantley actually has had, um, he's part of a startup, right, that's trying to bring more kind of like, fun basketball stuff to restaurants. So, oh! So it looks like there's a little free throw given to Blue. So, oh, we got it! Oh, almost got it, man. That one looked like it was... Oh, nice little takedown by Blue. Okay. Oh! Ooh, ow! There was a suplex right over there on the left side. The big suplex right there. Dude, the guy took off his shirt. Look, look, see? He took off his shirt. Watch. He took off his shirt just to suplex the guy. <laughs> Oh, two suplexes in a row. <laughs> you got to watch your six in this, man. Wow. Let's just watch until the first quarter, and then you guys can watch the rest of this on the International Rest Ball channel. Look, he has to put his shirt on. I guess he got, he got switched out, too. <laughs> okay, they're making some personnel changes. Okay, Red has possession of the ball. Oh, what happened there? Shot, infer shot interference, I think, yeah, that would be rule shot interference, yep. I think he's going to get a free throw. If, if I'm understanding the rules correctly, he's going to get a free throw. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, he gets, a, he gets a free throw, yep. He was saying two because I think he took, a, he took a shot from outside the orange line. Let's see if it's two free throws. Yeah, it's, he gets two free throws. Okay, we're understanding this. Okay, outside the orange line is two, is two points. Inside the orange line is um, one point. We got it. We got it. All right, cool. Got it. 
Got it. All right. Here we go. Oh, he made that one. Nope. No, not quite. Okay. All right. Here we go. Red gets the rebound. Um, what are they going to do here? What are they going to do here? Yeah, they're probably going to jump ball it. What do you guys think? Okay. I don't know. Um, they gave possession back to Red, I think, or is it jump ball? It's probably jump ball, right? Or the rust ball version of jump ball, whatever you call this. Um, Russell jump ball. Okay. Here we go. Um, if it's like what we saw earlier, he's going to drop it first. Nope. He jumped it. He, he threw it up first. Okay. Blue again with possession. Nope. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that would be like a Jerry move. <laughs> um, oh, that was a great pass without looking. Okay. Right. Try and right. Try and Oh, oh, try, oh, he's trying. Oh, ah. nope, 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 nope. All right, we'll see some replays again. There's a scramble right there. Um, oh, he was out of bounds when he passed. That makes sense. Um, all right. Wow, this guy. This guy is running it. Oh, he went for it. Nice. Another point for Team URF. Nice. That was great. Okay, cool. That was a great little sequence right there. He ran it so quick like a rugby player. And then he passed it to the guy who's like, okay, look at that. That is great. All right, so it's currently three to two. And we still have a bit left from the first quarter. I don't know if a timeout was called or something. What's going on there? All right, Red still has possession of the ball. And, oh. That's too telegraph. Yeah, he telegraphed too much, man. Like, he wasn't protecting his ball when he was trying to pass. So, it got it knocked out. Red still has possession because I guess Blue had last last touch on the ball. So, here we go. Ooh! Passed it back. Oh, that was a great pass. No! It's so funny. When you don't have to dribble it, it actually messes up. Some of your uh, muscle memory, I think. Ooh, that guy. Yeah, way off. Like, if you don't have to dribble it, it actually makes it more awkward sometimes when you have, when you get past the ball. That's what I mean. Again, because this is not a rugby or football, right? It's a round ball. It's almost like it was meant to be pa passed and dribbled before you shoot. Just my opinion. Oh, nice. Got him. Okay. Reds, it's a three-on-three -three situation. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Ball went out of bounds. Blue's possession. Huh. I liked how they did the previous play, man. Really run it. Yeah, really run it. Oh, he tries. Oh, <laughs> he was trying for a two-pointer, which in basketball will be a three-pointer, right? <laughs> nope, no, he doesn't have. He doesn't have. Nope. Oh, uh -huh. We need to see some dunks, man. Are dunks allowed? I'm going to ask them that question right now. I'm going to ask the guys. Can you dunk the ball? Let's ask. Uh, can you slam dunk the ball? I'm asking the organizers right now. The ball. All right. Here we go. Blue has possession again. Um, okay. He's going for it. Nope. Oh, it bounced off his body, man. Wow. All right. So, gave possession to Red. Oh, nice pass. Oh, he, he was... No, not out of bounds. Sorry. You can go under the basket. Never mind. Um. Oh, ah, that was an ambitious pass. It was the right thinking, right? But um, got uh, blocked by the, the Red team. All right. Oh, ah, that was a good attempt at a little layup right there. Ah. Yeah. I'm slightly, just slightly disappointed in the basketball abilities. But then again, you can tell these are wrestlers, right? Oh, he tried. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. I'm having so much fun. If you're having fun, make sure to press the like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment. How would you structure your team? Would you have three, a third rugby players, a third basketball players, a third wrestlers? Or would you have, let's say, all rugby players? Would you have all basketball players? Let me know how you would structure this team. And make sure to go follow International Rest Ball. Dude, that was really funny. Here we go. Red has possession. 
And, oh, and in that case, the guy threw it on the ground. He didn't do the jump ball. Oh, knocked out of bounds by Blue. All right. Red has possession. Oh. Nice. Blue has gained the possession back. Oh. You know, since they're not basketball players, they might as well grandma style. You know grandma style where you, like, put the ball between your your um, your um lower legs and kind of do that way because it's got a better arc that way, right? So. Oh. Dunk it, please. Oh, he almost dunked it. Let me see if... Our organizers answered my question. Oh, I see. Yes, you can you can dunk the ball, they said. So you can dunk the ball. Um, let me tell them right now. I'm watching and commentating right now, so um this is really exciting. I'm just watching one quarter of it, but it it's I've having so much fun right now watching this. So yeah, I'm just telling them. So like, I'm live telling them all this right now. Hey guys, what's up everybody? You asked for it, we made it happen. Rest Ball has officially landed in the USA and we are coming with the very great news very soon. Follow us on Instagram. I will show you all the beauty of Rest Ball live. You definitely don't want to miss this. See you. All right, so there's a little free throw shot right now. He's got it, he's got it. Oh man, you got to practice your free throws, man. You got to practice your free throws. Oh, wow. He's got it. This Oh, man. He's went to the Shaq school of free throw throwing, right? Okay. Come on, Red. Oh, that is a little, not enough of a, not enough of a parabola. So, um, I don't know what happened there. I guess we'll see a replay. A little fight for possession. So, yeah. Like there. This sport has a lot of potential, man. I just think if they practice their their free throws, that's the base minimum. But in general, they got to practice their jumpers. Right? They got to practice their their point guard abilities, as you would say in basketball. Oh, I'm going to get Hank or Nikki or someone else who plays basketball in this ASAP. Actually, Ashish plays basketball. I got to show Ashish this. Okay, here we go. Nice. That was a good free throw. Look at that. He even knew it was pretty good, man. He was proud of that shot. Look at that. Nice. There we go. Obviously, like, when you shoot the basketball, right, you got to have a, what's called a follow-through. So he more, that's how I shoot a basketball. Like, I, I flick with my fingers, right? You got to have a follow-through. But again, who cares? This new sport, man, it's going to get better. Every aspect of this is going to get better. So. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Last two minutes of the game. <laughs> He's grabbing that ankle. Nope. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. I am from Santa Monica, Santa Monica near Los Angeles. So here we go. I'm telling the organizers right now. So I'm sort of like commentating as I'm talking to them on WhatsApp. By the way, let me shout out the organizers. Um, there's two organizers I'm talking about, Christopher um, and Honore. Honore. Honore and Christopher. Gave you guys a shout out. Giving you guys a shout out right now. So um, you guys will have a little cameo in my videos. Your names, That that's it. All right, so I missed the action there. Someone took off their shirt. Oh, that's another another little wrestler takedown right there. Right there, got him. I wonder why, is it required to take it off the shirt? Or it's just, I guess that's another question. I'll ask them. Um, when the wrestlers take off their shirts, is that for the epicness? I don't know if it's like required. Like if you're gonna have to go for a good takedown, you have to take off a shirt. That's pretty funny. All right. Oh, okay. A little hail mary shot. Almost made it too. Oh man, gotta work on that parabola of the shot, man. Oh, nope. Nice. Blue has it. Blue might score this, man. Take your time. Take your time. Breathe. Oh, he scored a dunk. He scored a dunk. Oh, he scored a dunk. Wow, dude. Hopefully they... I'm going to replay. I'm going to replay. So a dunk is worth two points. I got it. Dunk is worth two points. Ah, I see it. Wow, that was great. Um, oh, I see. So what, what they're telling me rule-wise is that if you attack an opponent 
and get a really good takedown, you could potentially bring two points to the team. Wow. Okay. This is kind of cool. We're like lot commentating and then we're we're learning about the rules and talking to the organizer at the same time. I might do a live reaction one of these days. So I'll like have the organizers with me and we can do a live reaction. By the way, I'm slightly under the weather. So um, this has been a great under the weather video. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, there we go. There we go. Team Blue. Woo! Oh, nope. If you hit the net like that, um, does that count as shot interference? Let's, oh, we'll see. I don't think so, right? It's not like he stuck his hand inside the the net. Um, a little bit of a replay. We're almost done with the first quarter. 39 seconds left. So... Red team is trailing by four points. The coach is calling a timeout for some reason. All right, here we go. All right, red probably, it's their last possession. I mean, actually, this there might be two possessions left in this game. We'll see. Oh, pretty good takedown. Got pushed out of bounds there. Let's see what happens there. That was a great takedown. Boom, got him, but he... Let's go of the ball in time. Red gets the ball. All right, look at that. Red gets the ball. Uh, get a yellow card. Uh-oh, we got a yellow card. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a yellow card. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I guess I can ask them about the yellow card. All right, here we go. So, Red has possession. This is probably the last possession of Red, that is. Blue might be able to run it once over there. Oh, he almost made a two-point shot, which, you know, in basketball would be a three-point shot. Okay, yeah, last possession by Blue. Nope, unless there's a turnover. Yep, there we go, Blue. Oh, out of bounds. Here we go. Nice, another dunk by Blue. Oh, two points again. Wow, okay. All right. Nice. That was awesome. Okay, well that was a nice first quarter we just watched, man. That was great, five more seconds. Um, cool, and one last attempt by Red. Okay, guys, you guys watch the rest of this. Guys, if you like what you saw, make sure to press a like, make sure to subscribe, not just to me, but to Rest Ball. I'm gonna put them right now in the cards right here and in the description and in the end card. So there's no way you guys can miss them. Since we had a question about the yellow card, Rest Ball sent me their rule page. So let's read about how someone could get a yellow card. So basically two yellow cards accumulate to a red, which is different than soccer, right? In soccer, you can get two yellow cards without getting a red. and then. And there's some rules about the timeouts, the penalty as you call it. Check this out. If a foul is committed against the player at the final phase of throwing the ball into the basket, the player gets a free throw. So we saw that already, right? That is shot interference, like I said. And then the yellow cards reset every period. So period basically is what we call quarter in basketball. So if you get two red cards, you leave the game. If your team goes for a timeout, you can replace the penalized players. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check this out. So this is probably the relevant part. You can get a yellow card if you grab the close, keep holding on to a player who has lost the ball for more than two seconds. Interesting. Hitting or blocking the hands. Again, shot interference. Directed strong body impact against a player without the ball. Okay, yeah. So, like, if you attack a player that doesn't have the ball, so putting a leg or arm in the path of a moving player. So, basically, if you trip or something like that. Holding, grabbing, using wrestling techniques against a player without the ball. Again, just protecting players, right? Protecting players that might get attacked from behind so you can't push that's interesting you can't push you have to wrestle can't slide tackle oh man it sucks though i've been slide tackled when i was playing soccer back in the day i know how it feels so also you can have unsportsmanlike fouls and then looks like there's specific areas in the ring where physical contact is limited so i hope that you like this and make sure to go to rest balls videos tell them you want more coverage from fight commentary breakdowns all right now leave a comment guys how would you strategize how would you put together a team let me know in the comments or you can go to rest balls channel and make sure that they see your tactical thinking all right guys a lot more to come fight commentary breakdowns i'm feeling much better by the way so fight commentary breakdowns out a lot more to come